Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you are going to enable your Google Assistant on your phone and to prove that you can enable it on any kind of smartphone that has Android um, 6 or 7 or 8, Marshmallow or Nougat or Oreo and to prove you that, I show you that I have a Chinese phone which is Meizu, Meizu M5 it has Android version 6.0 so how to do that? you before we talk about the google assistant some history in the past this was the google assistant it was if i do can you sing because it is the first time so he will show me what he can do so i need can you sing no it got recorded Sorry. Can you sing? So as you can see, those are the songs, but it doesn't have the voice. So you need to as uh, to install the Google application. This is the Google application. So you just need to run the Google Assistant. Once you run it, right now you are not in a Google Assistant, you are in the Google Now. So if you ask him, okay Google, can you sing? So he will not give you back the answer as an um, intelligent an intelligent answer. It will give you like the answer of your request, and that's not what you want. You want to have an interactive way to to talk to him. So what you need. You just come to settings and then once in the settings you come to the voice and you go to OK Google detection. Here you need to find something like this thing because if you don't, if you find an, um, an option which is enabled by default and then you don't have this kind of writing, this kind of text, that means that you are still in the Google now but we need to switch to Google Assistant. So what you need, you just need to, to enable this Assistant and then it will go back to off. As you can see, the Google app isn't your default Assistant. What you need, you need just to, to go back and then reactivate it. Once you run it, if I ask, okay Google, and then as you can see, I just got a new notification here, a new way to talk to Google. So I just hit this and then I will have this window, I go to settings and then I enable this first option, enable enhanced Google service, okay, and then I just hit back, then it will configure, next, next. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. And you got what you I can what help you, you find what you need and get things done. If you need help, just ask, what can you do? So, how can I help? Can you sing? Yes, I can sing. I like to help you, even if it's strange. So I sing. So as you can see now, it works perfectly. So you just need to say, OK, Google, are you a robot? Hmm, I'm not sure. OK, Google, are you a robot? I prefer to think of myself as your friend who also happens to be artificially intelligent. Yeah, because my native language is not English, so my English is bad. So right now, you just need to use it in English. So you need your phone to be in English as default language because it will follow your, uh, your default system language. I don't know about French, but uh, maybe in French you will not, you have to wait. French and other language. I'm not sure. You just need to test with with English and it will work. So how to debug this? In case it didn't work for you, you just go back to settings and then voice. OK Google detection. You must have something like this if you are in a Chinese phone. If you don't have this and then you have another option which is on and then you have something like uh, for now now that I, I have the Google Assistant enabled I just need to do this 
Let's get started. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. <coughs> Sorry. So now, if I enable it like this, and then I come here and I say, okay, Google, of course it will not work. Why? Because this is not a rooted phone. If you root your phone, you will be able to do this. Because right now, the system don't allow uh, the Google Assistant to work. So you just need to root it, and once you root it, it will run as a service. Be uh, the difference between the, um, the Google Pixel and the uh, and uh, the Nexus, that's because they are they ha they are already from Google, so you don't need to root it to use the Google Assistant because the Google Assistant is pre-built with it. So I just need to disable this option because I'm not able to use it on this phone. So to recap, you just install the Google Allo if you want to use only the the assistant with text and then you install the Google if it doesn't work and you come to the sound settings and then voice and then you go to Google ok Google detection if you don't find this kind of text what you need to do you need to go back here to application and then you need to clear all data not only the cache you need to clear the application data clear all data because every time you clear the data, this is like you are doing a reset for your application. You will lose your who uses it, the history, and so on. So if I come back here, if I run it, as you can see, the Google the Google app thinks that I'm using it for the first time. So if I ask, okay, Google, can you sing? Do you see? It's not a Google Assistant. It's only a Google Now. So you just need to come here, settings, and then voice, uh, OK Google detection, and then you guarantee that you have this one. If you have this one, you just hit it once, and then you go out, and then you go back, and then you say OK Google. And now you got the notification. Uh, right now, it will work directly without those kind of tricks, because the, um, I got the update from yesterday uh, as you can see from the date but if you have older version you can use those kind of tricks so I just need to re-enable it and enjoy enable okay and then go back configuring next next hi I'm your Google assistant I can help you find what you need and get things done if you need help, just ask, what can you do? So, how can I help? So, all the trick is on the... Yeah, it's typing what I'm saying. So, the whole trick is here. Is, sorry. The whole trick is here. Settings, voice, OK Google detection. If you don't find this, then you need to come to settings, apps, Google, and then clear the data. I don't know how you do that on your phone. I just use that on the M5, which is a Chinese phone. It has only one button, which means it's like an iPhone, which means that I am not able to hit the home button because if you have another phone, you just hit the, uh, the home button and then you will get the Google Now or now, since you are on the Google Assistant, you just hit it. But you can do that with a, with a wire, with a wire headphones. You just need to hit the play and pause button for and hit it for like three seconds or four seconds, and then you will have the Google Assistant working for you. For example, you are doing a footings, a footing. How to say that in English? You are running, then you want to call someone. You just hit this, and then you say, OK, Google. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I can help you find what you need and get things done. If you need help, just ask, what can you do? Don't worry so, about this. how can this. I help? Forecast. Here's the forecast for Azazka. Don't worry about this text, because once you run it first time, and then 
you come back if you say okay Google call and then it will wait for you if I say okay Google call myself here is a matching video because it doesn't have myself on my phone so if I say any kind of if names and then he will call it just easy you just need to do that and it will work for you so I hope it will work for you if it doesn't work I show you how to do that you go to OK Google detection and then you guarantee that you have that option and then you go back and forth between deleting the the, the app data that's the trick that worked for me I don't know if it's it, this is not an official trick it's only a trick that worked for me so you try your own and I, we hope we got all the tricks to make it work on Chinese phones so okay Google thank you you're welcome okay Google goodbye au revoir that's goodbye in French see you